Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Bit of a weird one here as I'm sat in my car and I look like crap but I have been um, at work since 6am and now I've decided to film a come shop with me but I haven't really like touched up my makeup or anything I just look really tired and the weather is so disgusting that I have had to wear like a, I've actually got like a thick sweatshirt on and a coat just because it is bloody freezing the like summer is gone but anyway <laughs> i have basically decided to film a come shop with me and just thought i would just have a look at b&m and see what they've got i really just want to look at like if they've got anything for christmas any like autumnal things not that i need any i do actually do need to get a few things in here so i haven't come here just for the sake of it i do need some coffee pods and some other bits so yeah i live in bournemouth so this b&m is the bournemouth one it is one of the biggest i think in the uk doesn't really say much though because it is still quite it's not the best i can't lie it does get ransacked because it looks actually is really busy today it is thursday and it's two o'clock in the afternoon so i don't know why it's so busy but i guess people don't know what to do when it's raining so they've everyone's come to b&m apparently i just want to have a little nosy I am so excited for Christmas this year because it's the first year that I'm going to be living, like, doing Christmas on my own, in my own place. Last year I lived obviously in the house show with my boyfriend and obviously others, but we weren't allowed to put up anything Christmas other than in our bedroom and it was just shit. And then previously obviously I've been living with my parents and I've always loved helping my mum decorate. Um, she's really good at, like, doing like stuff around the banisters and like making everything look really Christmassy so I just can't wait to do it myself and to just decorate my flat I've got my Christmas decorations down from my mum's loft now so I know what I already have and all I'm saying is I've got a lot of fairy lights so I just need to get everything else I need to get a tree I need to get tree decorations I need to get um everything basically I just can't wait I'm so excited I am going to try and get a lot from work because I work for Wilco's um obviously I'm going to try and get a lot of decorations from there because it's cheap and like, discount but if I see anything nice elsewhere then I will pick it up and yeah I just don't see the harm in me getting anything now anyway I'm gonna probably go into the shop now right let's just go let's just go see what B&M has shall we it's so busy there's no baskets I'm just carrying coffee pods <laughs> at least that's what I came in here for that looks so weird. Like, I get it, you hold it, but how weird does that look? Really exciting, I need some scrubbing brushes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they are so cute. I want them. These are so cute. I literally want all of it, but I don't need it. I really want this, but I don't need it. They are so cute. I like all the pink stuff. Ooh. Lots of pink. Lots of pink. Mm. They literally have everything out and I want everything. I'm trying to be sensible. So I've got essentials plus one Christmas mug. That is what I want. That's perfect. Only fifteen pounds. Do you want to get one now or do I wait? I actually hate the mixed packs because I like so many of them, but not in the packs that they come in. I like those, and I like those. I really like those, but then I don't like them at all. <sighs> there's an aisle you can't even go down yet because they're still filming. I think I'm gonna have to come back here with my mum in like a week or so's time and actually do a proper Christmas shop. Now that I've seen they've done a lot that I like, I'm gonna wait and see what work does and then come back for a proper Christmas shop. I forgot how much I hate shopping here when it's busy. 
People just literally just walk out in front of you. Ugh. That's why I don't like shopping again. <laughs> it's so windy. Okay, so we're back in our car. Our car, my car. Um, a bit windy. I don't know why I tried to film them. Right, so as you could have seen, there was a lot of Christmas stuff. So much, I got so excited, I don't like. Looks like they've only really been putting it on for the last couple of days. Maybe even just today. Um, there was an aisle that was blocked off because they were still filling it. There was boxes everywhere, like literally were just like being filled. So that is so exciting. So my plan, I think, is to go with mum in maybe a week or so. Mum, if you're watching this, B&M trip for us, please, because they had so much stuff that I liked. Uh, my theme is going to be like white, silvery, and a bit of black um, on my like on my tree. And I want a lot of like natural like foliage and bits around. I don't know. Obviously, my lounge is black, mostly anyway, and very neutral. So that is kind of the aim, is just to keep it like that. I'm kind of just going to follow some of the things I've seen on Christmas, um, on some of the things I've seen on Pinterest. I'm just going to kind of go with that. So I've said I haven't got a tree yet, but I will. I know what sort of tree I want. <laughs> it's just trying to find one that's affordable, that isn't giant, because I kind of have to basically... For my lounge, I'm gonna have to kind of rearrange things because obviously I've got slanted ceilings from around in the roof, so I can't have a massive tree because it's gonna hit the roof. So I'm gonna have to either I'm hoping I can just move my shelving unit across more, and that'll give me enough room, like enough height for a tree. Um, because I'm gonna try and get one that's like six foot, six and a half foot, but if not. I'm gonna to have to completely flip my lounge around and swap my TV and sofa the complete opposite way so then the tree can go up obviously where the the wall is straight and the roof is straight I don't know we're gonna see either way B&M that was the point of this B&M is very good I don't really like this store I don't know if this store was here last Christmas or not because it's quite a new-ish store obviously Covid oh it's Covid that's why I just suddenly was like, I don't remember last Christmas going out shopping, COVID. Um, yeah, so obviously last Christmas, I didn't come here. <laughs> and then before that, I've obviously not really been that fussed about Christmas decks in that sense. But apologies if you can hear the bassy music from the lads behind me. But yeah, so this is, the, it's good. Like they've got a lot of stuff. I don't know if you were able, like if I was able to film smooth enough for you to be able to see how many hours of Christmas there were. But there is a lot, a lot. And their key themes is pink, which I'm seeing a lot of pink everywhere. So pink is very themed. There is a lad topless. <laughs> you can tell this is by a gym. You're literally topless. You're getting changed in the car park, mate. Are you like... okay? <laughs> um, there seems to me that a lot of themes are pink this year, like a lovely blush pink. I was, I was very tempted to go for the pink because obviously being on my own, I could have pink if I wanted to, but. I'm not. I'm going to stick to boring neutrals because I'm going to go off pink next year. I know I'm boiling hot. I'm going to take my coat off. So, yeah, I there's a lot of pink and there is a lot of silver, as there always is. There's very, like, looks like there's a lot of, like, gold purples. That was Daniel I couldn't see. Um, and there's a lot of, like, rosy gold sort of things. I, I do like the rose gold and, like, copper, but I don't want that on my... Just because... I know I'll probably I'm going off more off like copper and rose gold as time goes on so I know by next year I'm not gonna want that I feel like if I get very neutral decor like I'm gonna like it in the future especially white silvers I was really annoyed that they had those packs of baubles but they were like two of each and I didn't like all of them in the pack and this is the issue I'm gonna have I think I want to be able to buy like packs of six of the same ones because I'm going to want, I think in my head, I want like four or four to six of each like pattern um, to make my tree like perfectly, like aesthetically pleasing, symmetrical. Um, so I don't know how that's going to go. I just, uh, it's not, I really like the ones that are all like diagonal. I keep seeing them in different places, but I definitely want white. I don't want too much silver. I want mainly white. I want transparent, like I've seen a lot of like transparent or translucent 
baubles that are really pretty i've seen some in the range that are really nice and i think work sells some what like that as well and black i don't want too much black but just like hints of black to tie in with my lounge so i don't know um they had the i would have shown you the wreath that they they had in b&m i love that that is i'm gonna get that unless i find one somewhere else cheaper which i doubt i'm gonna get that the only reason i didn't pick it up today is because it's 12 pound and i just feel like um i've got nowhere to really to store it like i've got no space to store christmas decks at the moment really it's just a bit pain in the ass and i'm gonna come back here anyway and do a proper christmas shop closer to the time or like i said maybe in a week um just, I'm not going to just buy like one Christmas deco decoration. I'd rather buy more. I just personally don't feel like there's any point buying just one Christmas wreath right now. When I've still got to wait for my work to get stuff in. And I want to shop around a bit. And like I said, I want to do a proper like Christmas shop with my mum. I don't want to just buy one Christmas wreath today. And that's it. And also it's just a bit of a pain in the ass thing. It's very windy. I'm going to probably drop it if I... But that is exactly what I want. I want something with eucalyptus. I don't know why. I really like, obviously, like eucalyptus is really nice. But I like the idea of having a wreath with eucalyptus. And I like that it's very neutral coloured. I think it'll look quite classy on my door. Um, I'm hoping I can have a wreath on my door. Because obviously, where it's um, a flat, the door's like a fire door. So I've got to hope I can fit a little hook. Oh, my hair is so flat. But yes, yeah, so. Ooh. I'm just, I feel happy. So let's go through what i did buy i bought four things three of them were essential um the most fun thing i brought was this now i showed you obviously the christmas like dinnerware they've got some really lovely cute bits a lot of this is like stag themed so they have this was the only glass and i just spotted it at the back and it's three pound which isn't too bad it's glass but it's like that thin glass my only concern is that i might break this because everything i'm buying recently that's made of glass like thin glass has been breaking in my sink so i need to make sure i'm washing them individually because i'm not breaking this i refuse to break this it's so cute imagine having a little hot chocolate in here with the cream and marshmallow it's, that's gonna look so cute um i'm not gonna go mad with dinnerware for christmas because obviously i'm not gonna be having christmas dinner at mine i'm gonna have it at my mum's and i don't need excessive amounts i might get some bacon bits they did have some like cookie cutters but then i'm thinking primark will sell stuff like that i'm imagining or even like townland or something um i got some dish brushes these were 1.99 um i didn't really want these ones it's really hard to get a decent one that's not expensive and these are a pack of five and they're 1.99 and they're pink and gray and they're just obviously little but they're very hard brushes so they will do the job because always i find cheap ones that are just really soft i don't know it just seems to be a really hard thing to try and find dish brushes that are cheap but look nice and still do your job with that oh, i don't know it's a really adult thing this is i just needed some dish brushes and i've got five that should last me the fucking forever the next thing was i brought the coffee pods weren't they the first things i picked up because they're there when you walk in but look at this caramel latte macchiato i love lattes i love caramel lattes dolce gusto don't normally do a caramel latte i've never seen this before i normally get the costa caramel ones but they're expensive and they're a bit hard to get unless i go to like a big supermarket and then also i've got a massive box of these bnm would sell these in a 30 pack these are the ones that i drink every single day every morning and these are the ones that i've run out of obviously if there's 30 that lasts a month if you don't have more than one a month oh my god people stop walking past my car while i'm vlogging they're six pound for 30 and i think i normally spend seven pound on them for two packets in asda so that is a pound cheaper i think but yeah i love my um pods oh my god i don't know if you can hear how windy it is anyway that is bnm done i hope that's given you some insight into what they have in store like i said my store's a very big one and by the looks of it christmas has only just been done so the ranging will be a lot better than some other stores but hopefully it's giving you some inspiration i think there is definitely going to be a lot of more of these kind of videos now christmas is coming up because um, I've been to the range once, but it was literally when they first had their Christmas decks up and I just brought one thing. So I'm going to go back to the range. Um, Haskins. Now, if you don't know what Haskins is, it's basically a garden centre, but it's one of those that does the most epic Christmas like displays and decorations in like the whole of Bournemouth. 
anyone that lives in Bournemouth knows about Haskins and I, I'm assuming Haskins is like a Bournemouth only store but like I think like everywhere has a garden centre like this you know the ones I mean that they have the best decor in the world <laughs> not in the world but like when it comes to Christmas it's one of those garden centres that you go to because they have everything and they're a little bit pricey but I may treat myself to a couple of ball walls I've just realised I've got a dish on my leg but yeah, so I'm going to be going to Haskins. I'm going to be going to the range. I'm obviously going to be going to the B&M again. Um, obviously, I've got Wilco's, which is where I work. So I, I, I'm not going to vlog work. Um, there's also like places like Home Bargains and also all the supermarkets. Yeah, sorry, this video has been so erratic and just random. Hopefully, you've still enjoyed it. Hopefully, you're looking forward to Christmas as much as I am. And I will see you next week with whatever video next week is going to be. And for any of you that are thinking, Christmas is too soon, no, October is tomorrow. And once October is here, spooky season. And after that, it is all about Christmas and I'm ready for it. I cannot wait. After last year's Christmas especially, we need a good Christmas. Everyone needs to be enjoying the festive season, okay? I'm not having anyone rain on my parade. So, yes. See you next week. Bye. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Love you all. Peace. <laughs> Cringe.